San Bonani, I'm teaching you Zulu now. When I say San Bonani, San Bonani. you said Yebo. Yebo. <laughs> What's San Bonani? Yes, San Bonani means. So it's a green one. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. And, and then in Hossa, it says Moldueni. Moldueni. Yeah, Moldueni. That's, that's in Mandela's language. Okay. And then when you respond, you said Away. Away. Not Away. 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 Yes. Away. Yes. Away. Away. Yes. Away. Oh, yes. All right, um, my name is Lorraine, and my African name is Bule, which means thank you. All right, welcome to number four. This section, it was commonly known as number four, and the reason why prisoners they were calling number four, it was difficult for them to speak English, because the original name of this prison is Fort. So they used to say four, instead of saying fort. Mm -hmm. Then that's how it was known as number four. So this section was built in 1902. This is where the blacks, colored, Indians, Chinese were kept, main only. So prisoners, they were here for not carrying their passes, walking around after curfew times, wearing t-shirt and a political slogan. And then if you are a black person dating a white or a colored, you will be charged with immorality act. Mm -hmm. So you'll go to prison. Mm -hmm. So prisoners used to say, the minute you enter here, you are told that quick, 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 take off your clothes. And then they're gonna spray you with water. And then you have to run from the main entrance naked up until here. And then here you receive one plate washed once after three months or six months. We'll also receive three blankets uniforms that we washed once a year. Mm -hmm. And then prisoners will be divided, they'll be taken to different cells. And then they'll come back again here, and then that's when they'll be reminded that your skin color again is different. Colors, Indians, Chinese, they must form one line. And then Africans, they must form their own line just because their diet was different. You see we have the Christmas mm. treats. Why prisoners? will have pudding or cake, the non-white coffee or tea with one ounce of sugar and milk, if it's available. The daily diet, I'm going to start from the third word from the bottom, puza manda. Puza means to drink. Manda is a strength. So puza manda is an instant porridge that was given to the Africans only, just because once they are done eating this porridge, and then they'll have strength. The government and private companies will be waiting outside, you know, with the big trucks, taking prisoners to different places like farms, you know, like the mines, mm. where they'll be working their slaves. Mm -hmm. So prisoners, when they came back, they'll be tired, they'll be hungry. Again, they'll be given these dead plates. But the prisoners were saying, the smell was horrible in this place, and we were hungry. And we were shocked when we realized that their smell was coming from our own kitchen and it was our supper. Mm -hmm. A mixture of old, rotten, boiled fish. Mm. If it's not fish, it was pig skins. Mm. Then it was a problem. You are hungry, the smell is bad, you don't know what to do. Other inmates, they used to pinch their noses and eat as fast as they can. When the group of 1956, Mandela, O.R. Tambo, Lutuli, Ahmed Katrada, and the others realized that prisoners were actually getting sick because they were eating, you know, rotten food, and actually they live in uh, bad conditions, so they called their leaders to come and donate proper food to the prison. So food was donated, but for only two weeks because most of them, they were released, but those who remained behind they continue eating rotten food. Then it was a problem. Other inmates realized that the only way that we can stop eating this food, let us cheat and pretend to be colored. Now there was a problem. You cannot claim to be a colored if you are dark in complexion. You must be light and you must have curly hair and you must change your African name into African's name. When the officials ask you questions, 
make sure that you know how to respond in Africans. Then you can convince the officials. But there was a time where the officials were saying, why now we have more colors than the Africans? That's when they introduced the pencil test. If a prisoner is claiming that he's a colored, they'll take a pencil, they'll put it in his hair, and then he'll be told to shake his head. If the pencil is still stuck in his hair, he's black. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he will be taken to the solitary confinement for cheating. And that punishment was called Drimaldeye, which means he will miss his breakfast, lunch, and supper. So prisoners, they used to live in these conditions, not because by, you know, it was their choice, but they were forced by the laws that were implemented by the government. Mm -hmm. Those laws were making sure that black and white cannot be treated equally. So mm -hmm. now from here, we are going to view the communal cells. So any questions here before you proceed? Where is the cells? There. You see the one which is written, who is a criminal? Uh, we are going there. So these cells, they were designed for 30 prisoners, but because of overcrowding, there were more than 60. Mm -hmm. So inside, the cells were smelling, overcrowded, and they were dark. They were smelling just because prisoners were using buckets. And there were 